Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to re-register all the DLL files on a Windows operating system. Now this is going to be good for Windows XP, Vista and Windows 7 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems. Now you may be saying to yourself, why do we need to re-register the DLL files? Well you don't unless you've got issues with Windows itself or programs, or you may have had a malware on the system that's caused some errors or conflictions with uh, DLL files or something like that, you need to re-register them. So let's get started and I'll show you how to back them up and reinstall uh, them. So first off we need to go to the start or the all button. Type CMD inside there. I'm going to right click on this and run this as administrator. Say yes to that. And then what we need to do here is go CD backslash and that will take us back to the C root directory and we're just going to change the directory into the Windows directory, like so. Let's type CLS just to clear the screen there so you can see what I'm doing. And from there, I need to put in our command that's going to back up our file. Now, what that's going to do is it back up into our C root directory here, okay, when I finish this command. So, first off, I need to do dir and then star and then dot dll. That's going to copy all the DLL files, forward slash S, and then B, and then that little arrow, I don't know what that's called. But, uh, we need to do C colon backslash now, and then re, uh, re dash reg DLL dot bat. Now you can call that whatever you like really, but I'm just going to call my re reg dot DLL. You can call it whatever you like. When I run that, it will put that file, copy all the DLL files and put it into the C root directory, okay? Push enter there, it takes a bit of time, and it's now done. So if I go to our C root directory now, you'll see a file in there called re-reg-dll.bat. Uh, I'm going to copy that to the desktop, really. I could have located it onto the desktop, but I normally work from the C root directory. But uh, just for this uh, tutorial, I'll paste it to the desktop. Okay. So now we've got this on the desktop. I'm going to edit it and show you the actual contents of it. And you can see that's got all the DLL files on this operating system. There's a lot. We're going to re-register all those. So we need to make some uh, tweaks to this actual bat file before it will run. Because it won't run in its present state. So what we need to do is go edit and then replace. From there we're going to go to the find what and then put colon uh, c colon backslash like so and uh, replace it with and we're going to do reg svr which is the server 32.exe and then space forward slash s and then uh, co c colon backslash like so. So that's what it should look like, like that, okay? And then we're going to replace all of that. And you'll see it change on here. It's going to add it in front of this uh, C uh, colon windows. So replace all. And there you go. Let's replace that all in. Okay, so now we have that in. Let's do the next stage. We need to delete some files inside this bat file, okay? The reason for that is because if we delete some of these, it will increase the speed of how, how it does it, and also it will reduce all the amount of errors that will pop up on the screen. So what we need to do here is go find. I'm going to bring that right up the very top there. Make sure the cursor's at the top. And I want to actually do uh, find win SXS. And now they're all located inside this bat file. And I'm going to make sure it's on down there and then click find next and you can see it will go down to the very first part there now everything below there is win sx so what I want to do is highlight this first that one there like so just extend this a bit so you can see what it's doing there and what I want to do is bring that all the way down to the bottom. And I know it's right down the bottom because I've done it before. So I need to push the shift key down and highlight all these. Okay. Now everything up to that first one I've done, I'm going to push delete now on the key. And you can see it's deleted all those. There is another one that you need to do. 
which is was on 64 bit version when I did it on six this is a 32 bit version and it's called patch cache so what I want to do here is uh, type in patch cache with the actual uh, dollar signs like so and I'm going to try it the down first I know it's not going to be on here but I just want to show you just in case you have got 64 bit and then you just try to find it on the up and the down and it will search the whole of that file it's not there in this case so what I need to do here now is save file and save so now we have our file ready to run and what I'm going to do here is I'll just run it on this uh, machine here just to show you how it works so if I right click on this now and run as administrator it will re-register all the DLL files you need to say yes to that now if you get this box popping up don't worry about that you just uh, close the program and it will carry on running now this can take up to 10 minutes to re-register all the DLL files okay because there's a hell of a lot on there so just let it run and occasionally you may see it freeze or pause and you'll have a uh, a blinking cursor on the screen just let it uh, blink and you'll get the odd pop-up box popping up like so just leave those there is the cursor blinking sometimes that can stay like that for a for a minute or two just leave it and then it will carry on when you get this box popping up just close that and carry on with the uh, re-registering I'll pause the screen at this stage okay so you'll see a cursor blinking there like so that hasn't finished it's still working so just let it blink it always stops at this part here so just let that run for a while and then it will carry on when it's finished its job so do not close this off at this stage okay that's carrying on now and this box will just shut down when it's finished okay so that's when you know it's finished when the actual prompt box will close okay so that's now complete and as you can see the box is now closed and that took a quite a few minutes probably about five minutes on this uh, virtual box but it will take a while up to ten minutes as I said I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button chase support and also rate and favorite for all my videos if you enjoy them okay and I'll be making more videos in the future like this. If you've got any requests, then send us a message and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Okay, I'll see you over the forums if you need any help over there. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now.